From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment, but first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. A teen dying just weeks before Christmas at the home of a Tampa police officer. The boy took a bullet with a group of friends. The first calls for help coming just after 4 o'clock this afternoon. That boy was only 15 years old. The home is on Bridgewalk Drive in Fishhawk. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is conducting the investigation. Deputies telling us tonight the teen is not related to the officer who lives there. The Supreme Court will hear the president's pleas to keep his financial records private. This signals a decision on whether his tax records and bank statements can be turned over to the House of Representatives, as well as the Manhattan District Attorney, who is seeking them as part of a criminal investigation. The president has been trying to keep his finances private. The justices will likely issue their final rulings in June amid his run for re-election. The CDC just releasing new numbers on flu activity, revealing at least 1,300 people have died from it so far this season. Ten of those deaths have been in children. Over the last two weeks, we reported flu activity is peaking early this year, especially in children who are in school or daycare. Florida is still considered to have a mild amount of flu cases, but our surrounding states are reporting some of the highest levels. Experts urge everyone to get the flu shot. Now here's Dennis with Florida's most accurate forecast. Hey, don't everybody still tracking showers and storms across the area, the heaviest of which arrived before first thing in the morning on Saturday. So the rains that we had earlier on Friday afternoon, a little bit of a break. I do think some clearing late Saturday night into Sunday. Sunday and Monday will be beautiful. Mid 70s on Sunday, near 80 on Monday. Thank you, Dennis. And don't forget, you get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember, you can always download the free ABC Action News app.